Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. The first type of key we're going to talk about is a MAC key, or multiple activation key. This is one serial number or one key that allows us to activate multiple Windows 7 computers. And we can activate our Windows 7 computers through the internet, which is the preferred method if your computers have access to the internet, or through the phone if your computers don't have access to the internet. Now there are two types of Mac activation. We've got Mac independent activation and Mac proxy activation, which uses the volume activation management tool that comes in the Windows automated installation kit. With Mac independent activation, the computer itself is going to make the request to Microsoft's hosted activation service through the internet and activate that way. Or we're going to activate that specific Windows 7 computer through the phone. Now that's going to be Mac independent. Mac proxy activation, again, uses this volume activation management tool. And all of the activation requests from your Windows 7 computers are going to be sent to this Mac proxy. And then the proxy is going to make the request through the internet to the Microsoft hosted activation service to activate those Windows 7 computers. And then the proxy gets back confirmation codes that yes, these computers can be activated and then distributes those confirmation codes to the original Windows 7 computers that needed to be activated. Now normally we're going to use the Mac independent activation method if our computers have access to the internet or if we have a small enough number of computers that don't have access to the internet and we can just activate them over the phone. We're going to use the Mac proxy activation if those computers, if we have a lot of computers that don't have access to the internet and maybe we do have one computer that can get access to the internet that can be our Mac proxy. Now when do we want to use a Mac key versus a KMS key? And a KMS key we'll talk about next. We want to use a Mac key for computers that rarely or never connect to the corporate network. And we also want to use a Mac key when the number of computers needing activation does not meet the KMS activation threshold. And again, we'll talk about this a little bit later. But basically, you need 25 Windows 7 computers or 5 Windows Server 2008 R2 computers to meet the KMS activation threshold. And if you don't have that, then you need to use a Mac key. Also in high security environments that have no access to the internet or the corporate network. Now there are a couple of different ways we can deploy Windows 7 using Mac. We can manually enter it in. We can right click on our computer and go to properties and then click change product key. Enter in the product key and activate that way. We can add the Mac key to an image. So our reference computer and we're, we're going to talk about reference computers and taking images, but if we add the Mac key to that reference computer and then deploy that image, it's going to have that Mac key embedded in it. So your other computers will be able to activate using that same Mac key. Also, we can use what's called an unattended answer file, and we'll talk about this more later on. But we can add the Mac key to the specialized configuration pass of that unattended answer file. So those are the different ways we're going to deploy Windows 7 using Mac. 